Ever wondered which zero turn mower is the heaviest built in the industry? Well, stick around to find out because we're going in depth on the most sturdy zero turn mower out there. And it packs in some surprising tech, giving it a buttery smooth cut. In this video, I'll tell you everything you need to know about the Rogue to help you decide if this mower is right for you. To support this channel, like, subscribe, comment, and visit tractorbob.com. Now let's dive in. The Rogue comes with the toughest mowing deck in the industry. Fabricated from three gauge or one quarter inch thick steel, the sloped leading edge is one half inch thick and the side reinforcements are three eighth inch thick solid steel, which makes it the heaviest built deck of any commercial mower in its class. The cutting widths range from 54 inches, 61 inches, and 72 inches. Historically, the Rogue has been designed with a side discharge. And while you can still get that option, Bad Boy has added an additional rear discharge deck available in 61 and 72 inch cuts. The rear discharge design allows the clippings to fall behind the path of the mower. So you won't have to think twice about spraying clippings against a fence or in a flower bed. Make sure to give us a call at Tractor Bob's or contact your local bad boy dealer to discuss which discharge design is best for you. Whether you go with the side discharge or rear discharge, there's a bolt on striping kit that's mounted directly onto the back of the deck. Both deck options come with plenty of nice anti-scalp rollers and nice plastic spindle covers that are easy to remove for maintenance. The deck is mounted to the frame with heavy duty deck hangers and bad boys patented dual deck support isolators that protect the mower from side impacts. I also really like the bumper guard on the side of the mowing deck along with the premium stomp pad that's bolted on. When it comes to engine options, there are plenty on the road. You get a whopping four different engines to choose from. Now those engines also come with specific cutting widths and deck designs. So instead of listing off each of the engine options, I'll put a graph on the screen for you to get a better understanding of those options. As you can see, only one engine option comes in a 54 inch, 61 inch, and 72 inch cut. That same engine also comes with optional rear discharge design, which comes in a 61 inch or 72 inch cut. The other three engines all feature electronic fuel injection and come in a 61 inch or 72 inch cut with side discharge. All of the engines are top notch in terms of build quality and power output. The transaxles are equally as impressive with the 16cc hydro gear pumps and 18ci Parker wheel motors. They are fully serviceable, so the lifespan of these transaxles will easily reach into the thousands of hours. Lastly, the top speed of this mower is 13 miles per hour and the fuel capacity is 13 gallons with dual self-feeding tanks. The Rogue has a much heavier build quality than other bad boy mowers beneath it. Built with a 1.5 inch by 3 inch steel tube frame and heavy gauge steel throughout. The front I-beam suspension rail that's powder coated in matte black is extremely thick. You'll notice it has a joint which enables you to adjust the offset of the front wheels to ensure the alignment of the wheels can be calibrated to avoid leaving behind uncut strips of grass. The yokes are the thickest I've seen on a zero turn mower as well. Again, I like the the bumper guards that come on the front and back of the mower. The control arms are also different this year. They now have a more squared profile and the hand grips have a bad boy logo cut out. The controls are not only sturdier than the previous models, but they also feel better in your hands. As you'd expect from a commercial mower, you get a ROPS bar that is foldable as well. Aside from the features that we've already discussed, there are several other really important features that come on the Rogue. Starting with the suspension, the Rogue comes with front suspension dampers, rear suspension, and a suspension seat. The front suspension utilizes two massive rubber dampers to isolate the front rail from the frame. The rear suspension is Bad Boy's patented three-link rear trailing arm suspension, which provides independent suspension on the rear wheels. Then there is the suspension seat, which is calibrated to your weight. The seat is fully adjustable, has a high back with armrests, and the design and stitching of the seat is well constructed and looks really nice. The control arms are built to commercial spec with adjustment rods that allow for fine tuning of the steering and tracking of the mower. On the driver's left hand side there is a nice handbrake along with a cup holder, large storage cubby, and fuel gauge. On the driver's right hand side there is a deck dial for adjusting the deck, an ignition switch, hour meter, and two USB ports. And finally this mower comes with a front hitch receiver. 
The weight of the Rogue ranges from 1,485 pounds to 1,595 pounds depending on the cut width and engine you choose. The overall length is 92 inches and the height with the ROPS bar down is 53 inches. The total length will vary depending on the cutting width. To get that number, just take the deck size and add 2.5 inches and that gives you the total width with the chute up. So the 72 inch cut has a total width of 74.5 inches. Finally, the rear tires have Bad Boy's signature Reaper tread and are 26 by 12 by 12 and the front tires are no flats and are 15 by 6 by 6 inches. Now that we've covered the Rogue in depth, let's go over the price. Now the price of your financing will likely vary from dealer to dealer. However, you should be able to get the same monthly prices or close to the price listed on Bad Boy's website. For the Rogue, financing starts for around $214 per month with approved credit. Now if you're going into the store and paying cash, the cash price for these mowers range from about $11,800 to $12,800 depending on the engine option and cut you choose. And as always, prices are subject to change depending on when you are watching this video and where you are purchasing this mower from. I'd recommend the Rogue to anyone who is looking for a mower that can handle four acres or more and want to get the job done fast. I also recommend this mower to folks who are mowing on uneven terrain, hilly areas, or for commercial landscapers who need a reliable zero turn. This year, the Rogue is even better than before because of that optional rear discharge chute, making it perfect for folks who don't want to have to worry about grass spinning out the side of their mower. Thank you so much for your time. To support this channel, like, subscribe, comment, and visit TractorBob.com. See you in the next one.